herzlich willkommen zur vierten Episode Dark Room. so traurig. Alles in allem. It's weird hanging out with you again. I know. I'm glad we are though. It was nice that you sent me actual letters. It's more than any of my other friends have done. And you even wrote on that cool parchment paper. That's so Max. So pretentious. But I love writing on it like an English poet. You deserve the best stationery. Probably easier to write than to visit me. I don't mean that in a bitchy way. Not totally. You probably wanted to avoid awkward conversations like this. Uh, pretty much, yeah. Well, the worst thing you can do is treat me like a baby. I still want to laugh and talk shit with my best friend. Can we stop? This is seriously the best view of the sunset. What do photographers call that? The golden hour. See? Without you here, I'd have no clue. Bet you could take some amazing shots. Those beached whales are so sad. I kind of know how they feel. At least... I'm alive here with you. You're a real survivor, Chloe. I know you have to deal with so much. I don't want anybody else feeling sorry for me. I can do that. Along with my parents. My dad still feels guilty about buying me that car. Das ist doch blöde. Der Mensch, dem man das Leben gerettet hat. Are you okay to talk about the accident? We never actually have, huh? There's not much to say. Some prick in an SUV cut me off when I flew into a ditch. Do you remember everything? I saw everything in bullet time. I felt my back snap and... and that was the last thing I ever felt in my body. When I woke up in the hospital, I literally couldn't move a muscle. Jesus. I, I, I don't know what to say. Don't say anything. I'm just happy I did get to see you again. I could have ended up vanishing out of the blue like that girl from Blackwell. Is this a lot of Rachel in this Zeitschleife? You mean Rachel Amber? When was the last time you talked to her? Uh, never. I just read about her in the news. I didn't even know her name. You did? This is such a different world than when we were kids, isn't it? After that snow and eclipse, it's more like the end of the world. Also sind auf jeden Fall genau die schlechten gleichen Sachen passiert. Der Schnee und die Sonnenfinsternis. Und sie war noch nicht mal mit Rachel befreundet. Sie ist eigentlich nur mit uns befreundet. Wir haben es echt nur schlimmer gemacht. It might be, but I'd like to think we can still change things for the better. I'd like to think that too, but I don't have much hope these days. I know things seem out of control, but as long as we're together, I don't feel afraid. Hanging out with you makes me feel like a total kid again. You don't even know. Listen, Chloe, I'm sorry I haven't been out to see you more. That was wrong. You're my best friend. Max, thanks for coming out to see me. You're, you're doing awesome. I don't think so. Um, my, my nose is getting cold. Maybe we should get back to my place? It is hella cold out here. Hella? I hate that word, no offense. None taken. Ich 
kann das nicht einfach nur ein schlechter Albtraum sein? Bitte. It's a pretty high-tech lair. Feels like a high-tech cell. But I am lucky my parents bust their ass to take care of me. I know it's hard for them. They're grateful you're here with them. Right. Especially when they can't even take a walk alone. Sometimes I act like a total teenage brat just to give them an excuse to yell at me. Pathetic, I know. Chloe, you're a great daughter. You're kind and sensitive, when you don't even have to be. Trust me, I still get my rage on. Especially when a nurse has to watch while I take a dump so she can wipe my bum. Or when doctors flip me around like I was a science doll. I can't even imagine. But you're still amazing. You always have been since we were kids. Thanks again for coming, Max. I, uh, <clears throat> need to get my drink on. Uh, can you, can you bring me some water? <coughs> Drink up, Buttercup. Oh, man. No wonder my throat is dry. I don't think I've talked this much the whole year. Have you ever thought about doing a podcast or something? I wish I could punch your face right now. A podcast? Dude, I am a pod in a cast. Boring. Ouch. It was just a thought. I know you're just trying to help. <sighs> yeah, that's become a bad habit of mine. You sound like an adult now. It seems like we were kids in another life. Ja, wir haben auch in letzter Zeit so viel durchgemacht, dass wir garantiert schon gefühlt doppelt so alt sind. Zumindest durch die Sorgen. To me, it, it seems like yesterday we were little brats here, watching Power Rangers and destroying the kitchen. Oh my god, we covered everything in flour, even my parents. That was so hilarious. <sighs> But a long time ago. You're the only person that I grew up with who visits me. As you can see, I can't keep all my other friends away. Oh man, hab ich ja gesagt. Aber sie hat immer noch uns. You have me. I'm not leaving you, Chloe. Well, you didn't visit me a lot either. I mean, I loved your cards and photos, but... I know I wasn't around much. No excuses, I'm a loser. But I am trying to make things right. How? Dude, you're not Supermax. And I'm not trying to guilt trip you. That's what my parents are for. Was? Wir sind nicht mehr Supermax? Das waren wir doch. Das kriegen wir auch wieder hin. They love you so much. I know. My mom and dad are so cute. They always pop in here and make sure everything's okay with me. I think Joyce and William are incredible. Max, the accident has been so hard on them. Our insurance sucks, and the medical bills are fucking insane. Oh, man. We can't guarantee it. Can they pay all the bills? <laughs> no way. They keep the numbers away from me, but it doesn't take much research to find out I'm costing my parents almost a million dollars a year. Chloe, you're priceless. Uh, no pun intended. <laughs> you are such a geek. That's why I love you. Of course, I know a geek when I be one. 
See, I'm practically a human entertainment system. It would be sweet to chill out together and watch a movie like when you'd spend the night at my house. <laughs> what do you want to watch? Uh, I think I'm in like a, a mellow Blade Runner mood. I always cry at the end. Plus, you know, I always wanted to have cool colored bangs like Pris. I know. You would look incredible with blue hair. Now let's get this show on the road. And you better not fall asleep on me like you always do when we watch movies. I remember, Max. Swear I won't fall asleep. Not when you're here. Not yet. Ja, das kenne ich. Das kriege ich auch immer sehr gut hin. Das mit dem Einschlafen. Da haben wir schon mal den Player. Oh my god. I made that mix for her when we were 12. Das ist Musik. Dann sind die Filme vielleicht nebendran. Aha, here's the DVD. Let's Maxis. start. Das ist doch mega unbequem, wie du da sitzt. Du kriegst nur einen schiefen Rücken vor. Na, wer ist eingeschlafen? Das sieht so grausam aus. Uns wird gleich alles wehtun. I cannot believe you fell asleep so fast. How dare you? I know you were beat down after the day with me, and Blade Runner is a pretty dreamy movie to watch at night. Uh, do you do you think Deckard is a replicant? Sorry, I can see you're not wide awake like me. No, I'm sorry I crashed so hard. Were you okay? I do have a mother and father when you're not falling asleep on me. You are a bitch in the morning. It's the company I keep. Vielleicht brauchst du erstmal was zu trinken. Such a blast. It was great seeing you. I know things were different when we were just dorky kids, but being with you made me feel like when we were little pirates jumping and running through the forests again. It meant a lot to me just to chill out with you and, and bullshit. <sighs> Fuck. Um, I'm getting my regular head pains. Uh, can you pretty please go upstairs and get my my morphine injector in the bathroom? Morphine injector? It's uh, it's total Star Trek shit. You can't even see the needle. Seriously, I, I need it. Um, my parents keep the swag upstairs because they think I can't get to it. But you can, Max. Like a pirate, right? I'm on it, Chloe. So starke Medikamente brauchst du. Vielleicht frage ich ihn vorher noch mal. Hey William, um, am I bothering you? Why yes, Max. I love going through bills. <laughs> Kidding. How can you bother me? I haven't seen you in forever. I know. You look exactly the same. <laughs> it's so cool. Good. Or I'd be scared if I didn't look like me. <laughs> of course, you seem more adult now. So what's on your mind? Chloe. Definitiv. I don't know how to say this, but I'm truly sorry about what happened to Chloe. Me too. 
All it takes is a few minutes to change a girl's whole life. But she's alive. She's been a trooper. That's something we've also remarked. She is amazing. I'm so glad you're here to help her. And be her father. I'm so glad Joyce is here to help us both. Max, I just hate to think of what would happen to Chloe if I wasn't here. William, I just want you to know that whatever happens, I'll always be here for Chloe. Always. I know you will, Max. Na, wenn du so weitermachst, dann weißt du ja gar nicht mehr, was passiert. Ich würde deine Versprechung mal ein bisschen damit hinterm Berg halten. I was impressed by Chloe's room and all the high-tech equipment. You should be. We could buy a few mansions for what it all costs. The insurance helps, but I, I don't know, Max. I know it must be hard on you guys financially. His bills are more like crushing. We have to mortgage our home, and that's pretty scary. But, but we'll get through it. Price is always right. Get it? No? No, hopefully it's wenigstens Joyce good. Being around you and Joyce again is so nostalgic. Very old school, as they say. <laughs> I think it's great for Chloe to see you. Makes Joyce happy too. So it's not all bad news in Arcadia Bay. Or is it? Okay. Lass uns mal über das Wetter reden. What do you think is going on with all of this crazy weather and animals dying? Nobody knows, right? It is Nostradamus type shit, pardon my French. But all I actually care about now is Chloe and Joyce. My family. Mal gucken, ob die Prescott Familie immer noch so großen Einfluss hat. The Prescott family might be bad news. What do you think about them? Evil. Next question. Sounds like you know them well. More than I want to. But Joyce has to work for those greedy bastards at Pan Estates. I don't even like to think about it. Was? Joyce hat nicht mal ihren Diner? Och man. I was reading about that missing girl. Rachel Amber. Oh yes, she went to Blackwell, right? Ah, oh, poor thing. That's a real nightmare for a family. I get scared thinking about Chloe and that we might lose her someday. I have to go see if Chloe needs anything. It was so great talking with you again. <laughs> you act like it's the last time. And please, keep me from these bills whenever you want. Victoria. No! Komm heute Abend in mein Zimmer. Max, alles cool. Ich wollte nur sicher gehen, weil du vorhin so schnell abgehauen bist. Nathan macht sich auch Sorgen. Wenn du reden willst, melde dich, okay? Hab dich lieb. Uah. Max, wenn du sauer bist, sag's mir einfach, okay? Funkstille. Wenn du reden willst, meine Tür steht offen. Hab dich lieb. Das fällt einem ja echt schwer, das sogar vorzulesen. Uah. Naja, hoffentlich dauert das nicht lange an. Jetzt müssen wir erstmal nach oben. Oh, noch mehr Rechnung. They're drowning in debt. Just to take care of their daughter. Such bullshit. Kundendienst Happy Credit Card Services. Sehr geehrte, sehr geehrte Mr. und Mrs. Price. Ihr gemeinsames Konto ist jetzt geschlossen und sechs Monate überfällig. Bitte senden Sie uns einen Scheck oder eine Anweisung über 3.458 Dollar zahlbar an Happy Credit Card. Mit freundlichen Grüßen, Happy Credit Card Kundendienst. Das ist schon eine Menge Schotter. Zentrum für psychisch psy physische Rehabilitation Arcadia Bay. Sehr geehrte Mrs. Price, aufgrund neuer Kürzungen auf Staats- und Bundesebene müssen wir Ihnen leider mitteilen, dass Ihre Versicherung Chloes Physi doch physische Rehabilitation nicht länger abdeckt. 
Wir können Chloe zu der üblichen Rate von 1250 Dollar pro Woche wieder ins Programm aufnehmen. Mit freundlichen Grüßen, Dr. J. Smith. 1250 Dollar pro Woche. Was ist denn das für ein Pflegeprogramm? Das ist echt hart. Ich würde sie alle am liebsten davon erlösen.